This playthrough is rated T for teen. Whoa, dudes! Are you ready for a totally tubular adventure as we go to Blackwater City and get our twit flicks on? Greetings and salutations, viewers. Von Arbeck back here with another episode of Ratchet and Clank. In the last episode, we went to Barak Station and dealt with the Alien Queen, as well as everything that was around here. Got a sucker cannon, all the nice, cool gadgets. But now it's time to see if we can become champions as we go to Blackwater City and Rilgar. And we might deal with uh, some amorphous blobs. You know how it goes. So anyway, two gold, uh, gold um, bolts here, and I believe two um, uh, or three skill points are here as well. Well, it doesn't seem like a place to have a competition, but who knows? All right, let's take a look around. What do we got? Ah, oh, well, we only got so many directions, so. Uh -oh. so anyway, let's check the Gadgetron here. Oh, we got a new got item, the Mind Glove. For you today. Mind Glove! Be sneaky and set exploding traps for your enemies. That's why you use the um, the taunter or whatever, and then you, you set a Mind Glove use the taunter and they run into it so but unfortunately we do not have the cash wait how much was it again uh oh we're like really close dude well i'll come back for it later so huh is it dun 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 what happens if you get in the water well you'll find out here in a second folks i'm just gonna take a swim no no problems just gonna swim around nothing's gonna nothing's gonna harm me now Yep. Yeah, you get eaten if you <laughs> jump in the water. And, well, not instantly, but if you stay there for too long, you get uh, um, chomped. So, yeah, don't do it. Yep. All right, that's going to get chomped again and not on purpose. Actually, if you can get out of the water fast enough, you, you won't instantly get get uh, eaten. So. Yeah, let's see what's over here this way. Whee! Oops. Almost didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Alright, get me over here. What awaits in this yonder place? Now, for a second, I thought it was a cutscene. I was like, wait a minute, what? Because of the way the camera angle changed. Hmm. Oh. I'm thinking, I'm thinking something specific here. So, let me go to my gadgets and choose the uh, hydro displacer that we got last episode. Voila! C'est magnifique! Yeah, it's uh, it uh, holds all the, as you can see there, it fills up the gun with, with water, well, gun, I don't know, but... But, oh, let me get back up this way. No, oh, that's what I was trying to get to. Because the way the way the water works, it basically lowers. It's just enough to where you can't uh, get uh, over to the other side here with the water there. So, because of the way it works. So, now how do we get back over there? Perhaps using it again. Yeah, you just fill it up on the other side. Boom, there you go. That way we waste not, what not. No wasting water here. Yeah, it's just break some. Yeah, some stuff is just straight up violence. It's just like, you don't have to do anything crazy. Just destroy it. Hmm. It looks like we're gonna have to suck the water out again. So, because I believe if you do, if you try to swim through it, you don't have enough uh, oxygen to get to the other side. And I don't care about collecting all these minor, minor bolts. I don't need bolts that badly. I mean, I will, but I'd rather get pocket, pocket full of gold. You know what I mean? Oh, but it doesn't work here. Yeah, see. Yeah, I was trying to remember if it, this specific area, if you need to 
leave it in. So yeah, in this case, we need to leave it in. So that's how they trick you. All right, let's swim back inside. Yeah, I was trying to remember if it was this one or the next one. There's another one where it's like you don't have enough water to get or air to get through. So, but in this case, we're we do need it. We do. What's goodies are over here? Hmm. I don't know. I don't consider explosive barrels to be goodies, but I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Maybe in other parts of the world, they really like explosive barrels. Or explosive boxes. I do not. Not if it's on my face. That would hurt. Anyway, let's slip and slide. Whee! Yeah. Well, that was short and sweet, I guess. The ground. Yeah, we should have enough air for this. I can handle this. I can hold my breath for 11 minutes, or what was it? Or was it 10 minutes from Guybrush from a uh, Monkey Island? I think it was 10 minutes actually. Too bad in the sequel they never did the joke where if you stay underwater for 10 minutes, it auto, it, it he drowns or whatever. So, uh oh, better hurry. Yeah, I should have been moving forward, but I was uh, taking my sweet time, so. Well, I'll show you what happens when you drown, I guess. Okay, let's try that again, but actually continue forward and not, not waste our time. Right, yeah, let's, uh, let's just try to go as fast as we can. Yeah, you have to kind of beat the, it's basically like a mini race, if that makes sense. Well, no race, you know, timer or whatever, where you need to try and get as far as you can before it fills up. However, if I remember correctly, if we can just get there fast enough, I think I need to. Actually, I think I need the O2 unit to uh, to get past this part. Yeah, I'll have to come back here later. I don't know if. Uh, I don't know if air for that. I mean, it may be possible to get um, get there with within your air allotment, but I'm not. I don't call myself good enough to do that. If it's possible, I don't think it is, but you'd be surprised what some um, people who play like these games crazily do. You know, the people who like either hack the games or like speed run them. And you're like, man, I didn't know you could do crazy stuff like that. Anyway, we got globs here. They're there to basically distract you, so you know you might uh, um, take too long to get to the exit. So far, making decent time. As long as you uh, really just, as long as you take advantage of the um, um, you know the quick jump or whatever you want to call it, uh, you can get there fast enough for the quick leap or whatever, because it gives you a. Uh, Okay, I could have used that there, I guess, at this point. Yeah, the creatures auto-die if you, uh, or auto-drown, or whatever you want to call it. Or I guess, I don't know, they're made of goo, right? So maybe they get a, um, like a, not displaced, what am I thinking? Uh-oh. Come on, hurry up. Okay. Ah, oh, we made it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's it for that section. But yeah, we'll have to come back later when I get the O2 unit. But that'll be a little bit later. There's actually quite a few places you need the O2 unit if you want to 100% um, everything. But that's the reason to go back to old places. Although it's one of those uh, things that you, if you get it, you don't. You only need it for the one area, but you don't actually have to go back. So, hmm. what's this place? We had to go through the whole sewer just to find someone's trailer park. Huh, all right. Wait a minute, that guy kind of. Oh wait, no, maybe not. Never mind. I was thinking it was familiar. Hey, 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 press conference is over. Captain Quark don't want no more reporters bugging him in his trailer. Oh, you see, my friend and I need to speak to the captain about a matter of galactic security. You mean you and your walking camera? You paparazzi make me sick, now beat it! But sir, I'm sure the Captain Quark won't understand once we- Now, now, save it. I know how it works. You convince me to let you in, you snap a picture of the captain in his underpants, underpants. then you sell a picture to the info tabloid for a million volts! You've got it all wrong! Meanwhile, 
I'm stuck here making six bolts an hour, and I have to listen to a lecture from that cheapskate quark. So you don't get in unless I get a kickback. In advance. Uh, so much for integrity, I guess. So, uh, yeah, I mean, if you get paid... It's always crazy when, like, celebrities don't pay their workers, like, very well, even though they make millions of dollars. You're like, I think you could give them a few more dollars an hour, you know, for doing their job. Nothing crazy, but, you know, but hey, we'll, we'll help them out. And in this case, this actually makes sense to pay the guy. Unlike other times where you save them and they're like, actually, you said make six bolts an hour. Why don't you just break the crates around here? So, and then there's a, uh, yeah, a uh, taxi to go back. And also an area to explore, whatever these guys are. I guess uh, containment dudes or whatever you want to call them. Yeah, don't 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 throw your goo at me. Your green goo. I am not a goo. Man. I'm not a goo man chew. What the? Hmm. Well, that's part of a shortcut anyway. All right, we'll pay you. We got the bolts. You see how it works? You grease the hinges, the door opens. Captain Quark. What's that? It's Ratchet and Clank, Captain. You know, from the hub. Oh, yes, yes, I know who you are. You do? Yes, and thank the galaxy you found me. Huh? There's an awful plot being hatched to destroy our planets. Ratchet, he knows. Great. Does that mean we can go hoverboarding now? My friends, we're all in grave danger, and I believe that together we can put a stop to this madness. Together? You mean you want our help? Look, Ratchet. I've been keeping an eye on you, and I've never seen anyone with such raw talent. You are a true hero in the making. Really? You mean, I could be famous? Oh, absolutely. Oh, here, take this. What makes one man toil in obscurity while another becomes a hero? Is it strength, compassion, determination, or just pure blind luck? Wise men through the ages have struggled with that very question, but Captain Quark knows the secret. That's why he's been able to defeat more despots, rescue more damsels in distress, and save more civilizations than any other hero in the galaxy. Now is your opportunity to see if you've got the stuff heroes are made of. This infobot contains coordinates to Quark's secret base. Can you quickly conquer Quark's killer cannonade of confounded contraptions? Can you quickly quunk? Can can you quarkly quit? Oh. Just make your way through the defenses to the center of the base. Prove yourself, learn the secret, and earn your place in galactic history. Consult your doctor before attempting any strenuous exercise. Not responsible for death or dismemberment, your results may vary. Meet me at... Uh, uh, meet me at my headquarters. Hey, Captain Ratchet, what do you think? We won't fail you, sir. We promise. Well, it looks like we finally found the, the elusive do uh, Dr. Quark. Uh, Captain Quark, and now he's set us to go to his uh, secret base to train, I guess, to help fight him. So, yeah, this is when Ratchet finally get, starts getting kind of like, oh, I could do that. But at first, it's because he wants to become famous. So, well, hey, nothing's wrong with becoming famous, as long as it doesn't go too much to your head, if you know what I mean. But anyway, let's head back. And let's go the other way, now that we've found Captain Quark. So, seems like a nice fellow, although a little bit weird at times. I assume, he, I, I assume he's a legit hero that uh, saves all the people and isn't just like some blowhard uh, celebrity or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. But anyway, let's uh, head off to the... Oh, yeah, we have a... Wait, do we have... No, I, I paid the 4000 so no, I don't anymore. Dang, you random bodyguard. Who is, dis <laughs> who is disproportionately annoyed that he doesn't get paid enough for his work. But hey, I would be too, you know, if you did like something pretty heavy duty and then uh, you didn't get really your reward, your only reward. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the item here, but there is a, um, a skill point for uh, doing something to these tanks, but I don't have the item right now, so I can't do anything about that, so don't worry about it. And the problem with fighting these guys is that they shoot that um, noxious uh, gas at you, so... It's easier if you have a specific item too, as well. But we do not have that right now. So we will come back later. But I said clean up when I do actually do clean up for like certain golden bolts of skill points, except for a few of them. They should go by pretty quickly, as long as I'm pretty efficient with it. I'll try to make sure that occurs. But we'll see. 
Oh, maybe I should have uh, power jumped. Ooh, okay. Or run jumped, or whatever you want to call it. It's not the solution to all our problems, it's the one we want to be the solution to all our problems. Now let's go Pyro Side this time. Oh. Alright, the one time I go try a different weapon again, just to change it up a bit, and I, I get punished. Just like my real life. Alright, anything else around? Nope, okay. Might have to uh, see, I'm trying to remember where the golden bolt is at this point. Well, technically there's two. But what the? They're splitting off into smaller creatures. Did they say die every time you you hit or destroy them? I think so. <laughs> die, die. Hear that? It's just a com convenient. Uh, it's a coincidence that the that their words just happened to say die. It could have been like bleh, or something like that. I thought one of these played. Whoa, no, don't. <laughs> Sometimes the game will double, will bounce, jump bounce me when I don't want it to. Okay, there's nothing over here. I wasn't sure. I think it's, I think the, awesome. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get eaten by a fish. Thank you, game. I was trying to remember where the golden bolt was because I believe it was supposed to be somewhere around this area, but now I have to do that all over again. Thanks, game. Thanks a whole bunch. Right, let me see if I can try to skeeve it or at least avoid it. Right, furry. Nope. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. Ooh, smooth. All right, probably should. Yeah, no. Don't, don't shoot the green goo at me, please. I think he does say die. <laughs> Or fry, I don't know. Nice. Alright. Maybe it's over. No, I guess I'm not. I, I think with the gold one of the gold bolts requires me to do that. Alright. Okay. Uh, let's see. Bomb glove, I guess it is. I mean I guess I could do glove with you. It's just you only get one ammo per per box, I prefer I, I like saving the glove of doom for specific occasions although this is one of those games where you can kind of you can kind of just be a little bit more loose with your uh with your weapons just because of how often you can um get most of it back pretty quickly or if you just go to like a, an earlier planet in the game oh actually i think i'm not going to save that oh well but you could just go to an earlier planet and just refill it because ammo replenishment is just based off of uh, well, there's a bit of a randomness to it, but also tries to give you stuff that's like your lowest end, if that makes sense. I think. Oh, right. Actually, why not? I mean, we're in a pretty good spot for that. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. So I say probably a good spot. Actually, a good spot to actually use that because of how many dudes there were. And there you go. And a few more to spare. I think I was supposed to use those uh, boxes to jump on the top there. Oh well. Could always reset it and come back later, so. Haha, <laughs> alright. Seems unnecessary. Someone just really likes stacking these boxes. There we go. Alright, head downtown. We're gonna go all the way. All the way downtown. Downtown. <laughs> Okay, they are trying to die. Now that I'm hearing them actually pretty clearly. Alright, do we need a... I don't think we have the money for that yet, do we? Nope. No mind gloves yet. There you go. See, you have some stuff you shoot out of your gun at me. I have some stupid stuff you shoot out of my gun for you. A... <laughs> oh, I love the sound effect. I think that's from a Looney Tunes cartoon or somewhere like there. Just a... I wonder where they get that. It's always interesting to find out where they. Oops. 
Actually, I don't think there's anything up there, so never mind. Uh, it's always interesting to find out like where they get the sound effects for a lot of this stuff. Yeah. You because know? a lot of it is like practical. Um, Man, maybe it's a Ooh. To, uh, there we go. Unfortunately, none of these guys are small enough to uh, put in the sucker cannon. You can if you, um, uh, if you, those, uh, goo things, um, uh, amoebas or whatever, they, uh, they can be sucked up, but only when you get them in their, their smallest form. Can I just throw those? No. Okay, wasn't sure. Not that I needed to, of course, but. Oh, yeah, that's a club of doom, so we can hold off on that. Hello, good sir. Rhino for your robot. Trade you. Well, okay, Ratchet. I'm kidding. Sorry, he's not for sale. What's a rhino, anyway? Rip you a new one. What did you just say to me? R Y N O. Rip you a new one. Why, that's the most powerful missile launcher in the galaxy. I know it's worth a lot of bolts. He must have stolen it from the Blarg. Stolen? Look, trash can. Did I say anything about it being hot? You better watch your mouth or I'll... Wait, don't tell me. Rip you a new one. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, if you want to... Whoa! Yeah, if you want to buy this awesome weapon, which it is awesome, probably one of the better weapons in the game, you need 150,000 bolts. So remember that to come back later if you want to 100% everything and get uh, get all the weapons. I believe if you're playing the console version or uh, the like PS3 and later versions where they, because there's some emulators that you can get that will actually simulate achievements. You can get one of those, or um, uh, the PS3 remasters that they did um, also uh, have an achievement for getting all the weapons. I think the Rhino specifically has a has an achievement based off it, and most of the skill points do as well. So, all right, anything else? Nope. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to remember to come back here later because it is kind of an inc inconspicuous spot that you might forget that he's even there because of where it is. But luckily, since the plans are so short, and uh, yeah, there's a there's a note on the map to tell you where to go. So, so don't worry about it. But you might forget about it if you don't come back to certain planets if you don't if you just want to beat the game as is, which is reasonable. I mean, the gameplay is pretty solid and a very a semi-short story. This is one of those games, if I wasn't messing around too much, you could probably beat this game in like, I don't know, maybe five hours or something like that, maybe less. If you know how to speed... Well, I mean, if you speed run, you can, I think you can beat this game in an hour if you know what you're doing. Um, I will not do that. I am not a speedrunner. I don't like a... I don't know. I don't like learning a game that much to the point of finishing it within seconds i don't know that that almost for me at my personality wise that would make me lose interest in the game and never want to play it again because you would i would have put so much effort into this that it would it would become meaningless to keep playing the game after that i don't know maybe that's just me anyway more goo more amoebas or me boys or whatever. Actually, that's not a bad name for the me boys oh there's a way to get a the uh suck cannon so I can suck him up. Yeah, see, so just to show off that you can suck him up, you just have to hit him uh, when they're like a certain size. Suck the rest of these guys up. Okay. Now I can use them for ammo against these guys. Oops. That was a... Well, that was a bad call. Didn't even hit most of them. Oh, well. Alright. Club of Doom. You made me do it. You made me want to do it, so I'm doing it. Glove of Doom. Or Glove of Doom! I mean, I can fight these guys regularly. I'm just trying to have fun. I was about to say, I thought there was a few of them left. Collect all the bolts. In later games, uh, uh, they make they have a, like specific items that allow you to collect bolts from like really far away. In this game, there is sort of a bolt collector, but not in the same sense. Right, anything else? There we go. Just seeing if there's any other directions we can go. And you can climb back up if you need to. See? It's all... 
Very simple. I, I don't know where I was going. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, I don't need to go that way. I don't need to go that way at all. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, this is it. Okay. I was wondering where the other um, bolt was, so. Right. Can I hit you guys this? No, I didn't think so. Alright, this one's kind of like a mini puzzle where you try to like find your way through these uh, laser traps. And you have to fight these guys at the same time. Close quarters does not work for, well for you guys. Or me, I guess. I didn't think so. And I believe, uh, I think there's certain ones that reset the uh, the grid or whatever. If I remember correctly. Whoa! Well, that was a bad call. I knew it was there. I, I was just testing it off. Just to see if you noticed. Yeah. I do like his uh, like happy-go-lucky look when he, uh, when he like does stuff like that. You know, where he's like, "Whoa!" All right. Well, that's the one way out of there. But we want to keep exploring. And we want to hit all of these. Oh, nope. <laughs> There's something funny about him just repeating themselves when they say that, so. What the? That one's broken! How do we get in there? No! Well, there is a way, it's just. Um, we have to be a little bit more of the doctor's work. Because in this case, we can't just easily get over there. There, was there one more? Okay. Yeah, we need to grab this one. Just to just to complete it. Just to complete the set. So but yeah, we have to I'm trying to remember exactly I think you have to get above like uh I'm trying to remember how you get or which is the best platform to jump up there. I might have destroyed the crates to do that. Well, I'll show you. Oh, maybe it's from here. But yeah, you have to, what you have to do is just, yeah, just jump on there because these are, these are walkable. So all you have to do is walk over there and drop in. That's all you have to do. So nothing too complicated. Yeah, sometimes it's just the simplest solutions is the, uh, is the obvious way to get there. So ta-da. And luckily they leave a, uh, a thing in there so you can actually leave without dying. I mean, you still get the credit for the gold bolt anyway even if you died, but that's a way to get out, so. All right, let's, uh, let's see. How far are we to the, almost to the end? Yeah, this point's a little bit longer. Although if I, if I was being faster, it wouldn't be that long, but. Okay. Wasn't sure if it's going to take a couple of bombs for that or not. Sometimes it does. Alright, got all the heals. Awesome. Okay, we're almost at the end of this thing. No. Oh. Uh, yeah, there's that one connecting spot there, so. Hey, where's that? Wasn't that one lady around here? That one newscaster lady? Oh, that. Oh, right. She got eaten by the. Uh, got eaten by a Gru. I mean, a, a, a Goo monster or whatever. A oh. Oh, there. Something about the little flop sound you make when you uh, jump on uh, jump off stuff. So very satisfying too. Yeah, they did a pretty good job in this game when it came to like sound effects and stuff like that. Very. Yeah, this takes the best before the ship too, so it's another shortcut to the shortcut. So. All right, let me grab the rest of the crates, and then we'll talk to that random lady there. All right. All the bolts have been collected. Miss, miss. Welcome to the Hovercon Intergalactic Hoverboard Competition. Captain Quark's giving away a brand new Platinum Zoomerator to the winner of this competition. A Platinum Zoomerator? Perhaps that will be the proof of your accomplishments that Skid's agent requires. Wait. 
Do you guys mean Skid McMarks? Yeah, Skid couldn't make it. So we're here to, you know, fill in for him. Guess we'll see about that. All right, we can now enter the races, so let's do it. So um, there are two, two skill points based on uh, the races here. One is beating the race within a minute 55, I think on the American version. And then I think on the English version or the European version, it's like 156. I don't know why there's a second difference, but okay. At least on the PS2 version. I don't know if that changed in the re-release or whatnot. And then the other one is doing a Skid McMarks uh, trick trick flip or whatever it is. And I'll see if I can pull it off. I might have to do that at the beginning of the next episode. We'll see what happens though. So to do the, uh, to get the one as fast as you can, you have to basically hit every boost, which is what these things are. And you want to hit these too. And basically what you want to do is when you hit a... Oops. Well. Yeah, we are definitely not finishing it <laughs> in the first go, that's for sure. It's been forever since I've done this race, even when playtesting it, so... Um, yeah, I want to try to hit every single boost and, like, try to stay on the top area to try and get the, the, the timer for that, so... And what you do is when you hit a specific jump with the boost, um, the game will ask you to... Yeah, uh, the game will ask you to. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to hit that one. Uh, you have to basically use the left analog stick, shift it around, and then um, uh, hold down the um, corresponding shoulder buttons and press them next to each other within a second of each other for the most part. And yeah, I'm definitely not finishing this because look how many times I screwed up. Oops. Well, yeah. Yeah, I got hit. I got hit way too many times with the with whatever. So I mean, maybe we might win. Yeah, I might have to. Uh, I might have to do some practice and uh, and do this off screen. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Well, I tried to do the trick, and uh, but yeah, you're supposed to um, while you're in the air, you're supposed to hit the buttons consecutively. Um, I don't know if you actually get anything from. I mean, other than the skill point, of course. But I don't know if it actually does anything in the actual like race. Like you don't get any like extra speed or whatever. Gotta go fast! <laughs> hey! Oh right! Oh, oh, oh. I'll try to hit that big that big one from earlier and see Ah nope! I messed that one up, so I have to do this again. Yeah, this is definitely one of those things you want to do a couple of times when uh Nope, didn't. Oh Okay, I glitched through the floor. I tried to do the final flip and uh I um uh, yeah. Alright, let's try that again, so. One more time. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. I it, yeah, it might take me a few um uh tries to do the a minute fifty six or fifty five, sorry. Try it's, same with the uh um Yeah, see I missed the boost there, so I that's that means I'm not gonna be able to get it. I, I mean I, I think you can miss a couple of them but it's one of those cases where you you do need to try and hit every single one that that'll guarantee that you hit it um, also the guys will uh nope yeah and if you mess up you uh fall to flop on your face so. all right yeah let's just uh, let's focus on this episode getting the um just getting the win so we can actually get the item and then next episode i will show me trying to actually get the actual uh, uh skill points for it. nope didn't uh, hit that i just need to get past this guy that's my that's my new challenge he's my new arthritis i mean uh, rival yeah i'm not very good at doing the, the tricks and tricks in the game to tell you the truth because if you don't do it right or do it um well enough you'll you'll slip and you'll you'll have to redo it although to luckily all you have to do is win the race once to get the reward um and then doing the skill trick to get the uh well i guess you still technically have to win to, to get the minute 56 i guess but when you're trying to do the skid and mark thing you can just or skid trick or whatever it's called you can just do it whenever so. Hi folks, Captain Quark here. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce this year's Hovercon Intergalactic Champions. Let's give it up for newcomers, Ratchet and Clank. Hey, look, that's us. Today's winners will take home a brand new professional grade Model T-15 Platinum Zoomerator.
Manufactured by Gadgetron, this hoverboard drive delivers more lift, speed, and maneuverability than any other anti-grab device on the market. Well, folks, that's all the time we have. Tonight, remember to set your info bots to the Quark Classic channel for tonight's episode of Dogfight Over Death Canyon. Starring yours truly. Thank you, and have a Quarktastic day. All right, and we won the Platinum Zoomerator for, for doing that, so... Uh, actually, it might be actually it might be shorter than I'm thinking of. It might be like a minute 35. Or, I'll have to look it up again for the uh, for the uh, race totals to figure out what it is. Because I could swear it was 155. Maybe I'm looking up the wrong information. So, like I said, some stuff I remember it clearly, and other stuff I have to research just to make sure. So, looks like we didn't hit that race, but that's fine. We'll come back and uh, do it. Because there's like I said, there's still two skill tricks we can do. Um, and we still have to come back later for the O2 unit. So there's a reason to come back. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll, well, we'll see. I might show it next episode off screen. If not, maybe I'll do it when I come back, when I do cleanup. We'll see what happens. So, and it actually doesn't have to be here. There's one more place you can do the, uh, the, um, the skill trick. It doesn't have to, uh, there, it has to be one of two races. There's actually two, um, skid traces in this whole game that you can go through to get the, the skill trick for it. So it's one or the other. So, whichever one you want to do. But anyway, we've gotten we've gotten our reward on. We got our Skid McMarks uh, rally. We met Captain Quark, and now it's time to head to his secret base. What awaits us into his secret base? Can we deal with the quadratic, quality, crummy, uh, catastrophic uh, maze of death? We'll find out next time in the next episode of Ratchet and Clank. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>